Hi everyone and welcome to my show this evening. Just wanted to let you all know that tonight we'll be making this beautiful Cherry Lynn card using um, three of their dies, three of my favorite dies. The Sweet Williams die, the Arabian Night Rectangle die, and the Small Fairy Lace Butterfly die. This card is super easy to make and it's very elegant when you're finished. We're also going to be making some roses tonight that I'm going to show you that I created. And I colored these with Viva Decor Inca Gold. So pretty. So we're going to have um, a lot of fun tonight. Hi, Kristen. I'm blinking. The colors are beautiful. Okay, so I want to drop the link really quick here to my blog. Um, I have an awesome giveaway for Cherry Lynn and Viva Decor products. For those of you who are watching the recording, this is the link to my blog. If you head over there, you're going to see the products from tonight's show. And you're also going to see um, a bingo game that we're having. Hi, Colleen. You guys, Colleen from Viva Decor is here. Please welcome her. I'm just telling everyone about our um, bingo game. It's going to be called Cherry Lynn and Viva Decor Bingo. And all of the words have to do with Viva Decor and Cherry Lynn. There's a hundred words listed on my blog. And if you go there, um, what you're going to do is you're going to pick 25 of those words and you're going to email them to me. You're going to keep track of your own words. Every day on my blog, you're going to find one bingo word called, Monday through Sunday. If you miss a word, obviously, you can go back and look through the past days. However, you're going to receive five words at each of my shows on Thursday. They will be dropped into the chat, so um, you have to physically be here in order to get the word. You're not going to get the word if you're watching the recording. The only way anyone would be getting a word from, would be from someone else, and if you do that, I can't control it, but you're just lessening your own chances of winning. Now, what I have for the bingo prize is also listed over on my blog. Um, you have to email me your words before next Wednesday evening, and then we're going to start. You cannot turn your list in late. And I'm sorry, ladies, but there will be no exception. It's just not fair to everyone else. Um, I will say before a word is dropped into the chat, and one of my moderators will help me um, with the chat with typing the words, we will call, the words will come always from me. If one of the moderators puts it in the chat, I want you to know that it still comes from me. So before a word is typed in the chat, I will say, bingo, bingo, get ready for your word. Something about bingo. Okay, and it will be periodically throughout the show when I'm teaching. Five words. Once you have all of your words called, you can call bingo. Again, the first person who calls the bingo is going to be the winner. The free product is valued over $60, and it includes two Cherry Lynn dies. It includes two pearl pens, a full container of paper soft, and four trial size Inca Golds, all from Viva Decor. So it's an awesome giveaway. Oh, Colleen, we thank you so much. These ladies are an awesome group here, I want you to know. Um, they're a lot of fun. They're very supportive. And we get together just about every Thursday night here on my show, and a bunch of them teach, and we go to each other's shows, and we support each other. So we have a lot of fun. So again, here's the card that we're going to be making this evening. And I'm sorry, you guys, my dogs are deciding that it's playtime now in the background and they're dancing together. Um, Colleen, the girls in blue are my moderators. 
So if there's any issues during the show, they're the ones who would take care of it. Um, and all the girls in green are, are the girls that are just here at the show. Um, you know Kristen. Kristen is Dolphin Girl. You'll get to know um, each person a little bit if you, if you come often. The Altered Muse Studio is Patrice. Tinkerbug is Shy. You guys, start introducing yourself so I can get started in the class here. Um, oh, Pat's here too, Colleen. She's Gecko 1980. Yep, great. Thank you. Bonnie's here and Annette and uh, Tanya and Barb, everybody. Denise, we have a great group here. Um, Cheryl, I don't want to miss anybody here. Donna. So again, Colleen, thank Ray. you. Ray, oh, Ray's here. Ray's here. Colleen, this is my husband, Ray. This is Colleen who's sponsoring me. Hi, Colleen. You look very pretty today. <laughs> He's always um, a big riot at my shows, Colleen. So <laughs> she, Colleen doesn't know what to say. Yeah, he's the real hoot, Cindy. Okay, so we're going to get started, and I just wanted to show you, this is the card we're going to make tonight, and these are the dies. Let me show them to you. Ray's off to play cards. This is his Thursday night card night, so I've, I'm home with Adam and Ryan, enjoying them before they have to go back to school. This is the um, Cherry Lynn Arabian Night Rectangle Frame, which is the background of our card. <laughs> no, he can't see you, Colleen. This is, look at how intricate this die is, you guys. Is this not amazing? I just cannot believe how intricate these dies are and yet how easy they cut. Okay, so here is that die. And then, of course, mine and Bonnie's, and of course, several others of you. Love, love, love our butterfly. Okay? So, um, we're also using the Sweet Williams die. I'm sorry, guys, I don't have that out in front of me right now. But this, the Sweet Williams makes two different sizes a large, whoops, I'm showing you too small, a large and a small. Okay, that's fine. If you have an ad, I'll wait. Um, amazing, amazing dies, you guys. And if you run over to my blog, you can purchase the dies along with the Viva Decor product that I'm going to be using tonight. But we're going to make this card really fast first. And all you need is a card or a piece of cardstock folded in half. I have a background piece of paper. And then I have already cut out my um, rectangle frame die. You can find this on my blog right now for the first post of today. And after today, it's going to be found under the doily dies uh, list for Cherry Lynn. It's all already up there. So this, again, is very easy. I'm going to be using my favorite adhesive for the background piece, which is score tape. And remember, Shy um, has the score tape, and you can find it here. And I know she has a bunch of it in stock, so if you order it, she can ship it out to you tomorrow, she said. So if you're interested in the score tape, um, Shai, you can drop your link. You guys go ahead and, and share your links. Um, Shai can get that out to you tomorrow. Hi, Tony. Welcome. We're going to go over the bingo again in a little bit as the new people are coming in. Um, here's our card that we're going to be creating, Tony, using Cherry Lynn. And you guys, Cherry Lynn's August release came out for, um, for me to see, and surprise, surprise, Build a Flower 2 came out, and it is amazing. I am ordering mine tomorrow. I can't show you a picture of it because I can't share the release, but if you want it, it's the same price as the Build a Flower 1. Um, and you'll have to, I'm sorry, you're going to have to check that price out on my blog. Drop me an email and tell me to order it for you, and you'll have it right away along with me. It's amazing. They've come out with a lot of things. Okay, guys, here's the awesome thing about score tape. If I haven't, um, if you haven't seen me do this already, 
double-sided tape, super easy. Just lift it off. I have no nails right now and I'm able to do this. So it just comes right off. Okay. And then I'm just going to layer down my first layer here. And remember to make sure you're working right side up here. I always have to double check myself because I do work sometimes upside down for you girls. Okay, so that's down. And then I just use a hot glue gun right in my corners here to adhere the frame that I cut out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I saw the Vagabond demonstrated at CHA when Pat and I went. And needless to say, Pat and I both purchased a Vagabond. It is amazing. Love it. I'm starting to have a problem with one of my shoulders um, from work. And I'm sorry about that, you guys. And uh, it's awesome because it's um, electric. So it is all that they say that it is. Love it. All right, so now we have our background adhered. Wow. Now, if you remember, I showed you how to make the um, Sweet Williams flowers once before. Well, we're going to make three of them again. You cut out three of the big pieces and three of the small, and this is super easy to do. This die is so cheap, you guys, and it's going to last you forever, and it makes beautiful, beautiful flowers, and it's so easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to use, I was going to use a pair of scissors here, but I'll use a toothpick just to show you how easy. You take one of your petals and you fold upward around the toothpick, up one way, put the toothpick under the petal, and you fold back the other way, okay? So that your petal looks like this. It looks crunched. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. You've seen me do this before. Okay, forward. I'm sorry, it was off camera. Forward with one petal, back with another. Forward, forward, and then back. Okay? So that's all you're going to do on every one of these petals. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. It's a quick thing. doesn't take real long. Of course, I'm doing three flowers, so I've got nine petals to do. Okay, now it doesn't look that great like this, but when you stack them together, look how amazing they turn out. Okay? So, of course, it's layering it that makes it um, look as good as it does. All right, so that's all I'm going to do is do that so that I can stack these up. Yeah, the Vagabond, um, I am pleased with. The only thing I have to say that I'm not not that I'm not happy about, but that I think would have been a better feature for it. I was really surprised that you need to hold the button down as you roll it through the machine, as it, not that as you roll it, as it goes through the machine. I was, um, I must have been so enticed with it at CHA that I, I was watching what was happening as the process was cutting that I wasn't watching exactly what they were doing when they used it because that was a surprise to me. I would have thought that once you hit the button it would just automatically take it and feed it through the machine itself. To me, I, the only thing I'm worried about, to be honest with you, I've only used it once and only one time. I cut out a couple butterflies. Um, I'm worried for the motor. Normally when you have a motor that operate something, and I'm telling you this from the business side now with uh, working with Ray, when you have a motor that runs something and you're constantly pressing down on the button to make it to make it operate, that's how it peters out quicker. So we'll see. I mean, I haven't heard any um, I haven't heard of people complaining a whole lot about about their machines dying, but I haven't also looked either. So, 
Yeah, it, and it is an investment again, a machine, just like the dies are investments because they're things that you're going to have and you only need once that you're going to use, hopefully, and when it breaks, you've got to buy another one. Now, I have Itza. Hi, Itza. I have gone through two um, big shots already, but I use mine a lot. So I don't know if that's a common thing for people or, you know, if you all are on your first machines. We never really talked about who has cuddle bugs and who has big shots or vagabonds. Um, I'm keeping my big shot because if obviously if the vagabond dies, I have something to fall back on. I love my die cutting machine. Yeah. <clears throat> One time when I was cutting um, something, I, I put something through my machine, my big shot. I got one extra there. And as I cranked it, cranked a die through, just a regular die, it snapped something inside of it and it just broke. And it is a, that is a common thing that happens to people, but I will tell you that my machine gets a lot of use. So um, it was more, mine was more than a year old, so it could be just what happens. I don't know, but it was kind of scary. Okay, so now here you go, guys. I have my six flowers here. So here's my big ones. And all I'm going to do is put a gob of uh, hot glue there in the center and alternate petals when you lay it down. I like to use a toothpick to hold mine in place here. And I'm just going to show you real quick. You, are, you know what alternating petals is. You're putting the petals in the spaces, okay, when you're hot gluing. So that's what we're doing. And we're doing all three like that. All three of the big ones. And then I like to just push down with my toothpick, which just kind of makes the edges. You can flick them and pop them up a little bit. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Can I ask my moderators to please drop links to my blog every now and then when someone new comes in so they're aware of the bingo? I want everyone having a chance to um, get in on the giveaway. And we have a lot of people here tonight that can see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't want anyone to be upset and say they didn't know about it. And Itza, if you can please let your mom know. I know she doesn't have internet tonight for whatever reason, but she can still plan on getting in on the game, hopefully. Does anyone have questions? I'm just assembling my flowers quick here. Okay, now there is one whole flower already made without the stamens. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do all three of my flowers here, um, and then I'm going to put the stamens in them. I know there's a lot of internet issues with Time Warner for the last few days from different people that I know of. Again, you guys, I'm just rolling the petals one side forward, one side back, over and under. It's no science. It's easy to do. Yep, you can get on to... Um, blogs, even you stream from your from your phone. You might not be able to chat. I'm making a card tonight, Sue, and then we're going to make some roses um, using cherry. Uh, the, the dies are for the card is Cherry Lynn, of course. This is the card. And then we're going to be making some flowers, um, some roses that I made using, that I colored with Viva Decor Inca Gold. There's one, and I don't know where my other one went here. Here it is. Here's my other one. 
amazing stuff. I'm glad to see, thank you. I'm glad to see you guys all were able to come. Again, um, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I know Sue came in and, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple other people. We are going to be playing a game of Cherry Lynn and Viva Decor Bingo. And if you go over to my blog, you will see the words. There's a hundred words there. You pick 25 of them. And when you do that, you email them to me and keep a copy for yourself every day no prima yet bluebell I'm gonna check on it tomorrow oh did you hear the dog drinking again um, every day on my blog I will pick one word and if you get the word you mark it off of your list you have to get all 25 of your words before you can um, call bingo at my shows, you're going to get five words. It's all the way at the bottom of my blog. It's a, it's past the project from tonight, and you'll see the list. Yeah, I'm going to check on Prima tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure. Um, when it's shipping. I have some Prima stuff coming from my supplier tomorrow or Monday. Uh, Tanya, I will have your roses. It looks like they shipped. I got a phone call on that today. They were going to try to get them in the box with my order. So I'll let you know if it makes it in there. Yes, the game starts next Thursday. You have to email me the word your words by next Wednesday evening. All of the words have to do with um, Viva Decor and Cherry Lynn. So it's just a because they are sponsoring the giveaway. So it's just a fun little way to play. And the prize is two Cherry Lynn dies. It's the the book dies and I can show them to you at the end of the show I just want to get this card finished maybe at the break I'll show it to you between projects um, so you're going to receive whoever the winner is is going to receive two Cherry Lynn dies two pearl pens one paper soft and four trial size Inca golds from Viva Decor so it's a retail value over sixty dollars and then after that game is over we're going to be playing another fun game with again Viva Decor and Sherry Lynn for Halloween so again words will be called on my blog every day you'll get one word on my shows you're going to get four uh, five words I'm sorry So you have to physically be at the show to get the five words. They're going to be ta uh, typed into the chat. It's not going to be spoken, so if you watch the recording, you're not going to get the five words. You've got to be here. And again, think twice before you give out the words to somebody else. Um, no, Pat, this is my, I'm not real happy with this one. My sure binder, cordless sure binder, died. So I have to use this one. I haven't replaced my sure binder yet. I have the other one that you gave me, Pat. I just, um, I have to, I, I, my goal for that one is to keep the small tip on that one so that I don't have to keep changing it out since it's hard. And I just want to get another sure bonder. I really did like that glue gun a lot. Yeah. Oh, is Goldie having troubles with the with her computer? Oh, sorry. Is Colleen here? Is she having trouble with um, getting on, or is she here? I saw her. 
And I know she was um, popping in and out, someone said. Paper Soft is an awesome product. I'll show it to you, um, Bluebell. It's great for, it's, you use a sponge, it's got like a sponge tip applicator, and you use the sponge to apply it, and it makes great journal pages, background pages. It's really, really intense, um, brilliant colors. So I will show you that. All right, there's the second one. All right, let's see. <laughs> well, if she was here, I think she would have answered. So I think she's having trouble. I got I helped her make her account to get her on. Oh, here she is. It's a paper coloring system. Okay. Yep, I'm still learning too, you guys, about all the products. But um, I, sh Bluebell, I showed the paper soft at a class once before. I think you were there. Um, I compared it to what's that? Pan pastels. Sorry, Colleen. And it just went on a lot smoother. It was more of a painted effect. The pan pastels was more of a chalk effect. Well, there you go, Colleen. Maybe that will help you. She made you a moderator. Maybe that will help keep you on. So we're on our third flower here. And again, you guys, um, like I said, Cherry Lynn's new release came out. And you're going to love the products that they have. Actually, it just came out for um, people who can purchase wholesale. So I will be able to show you the product. But I am going to be placing my order tomorrow with them. And I'm going to be getting the Build a Flower too. So if anybody wants it in advance because you know you're going to want it, just tell me to get one for you and I will PayPal you. I don't have a link um, and a PayPal button over on my blog for it because um, I like to put a picture of it up, but it's amazing. They're going to be making a new Build-A-Flower every few months. The Build-A-Flower dies from Cherry Lynn Sue. They're awesome. Here's um, three flowers that I made using the Build-A-Flower. Here's one. I just pulled all of the leaves up on this one. Here's the second one. The leaves are all pulled back. And then here's the third one with the leaves up. And it's exactly what it says it is when it says build a flower. You start with the brad in the center and you just layer the flower pieces on top of it. It's so easy to do. Oh, sorry, Sue. I, obviously, you guys know from coming to my classes like this. <laughs> no, Tanya, you have, don't leave. What you want to talk about flower making for dummies, wait until you see what I have. And I don't mean dummies in a bad way. Um, I'm, I'm serious. The, the next product that I'm going to show you with the Viva Decor that we're going to color is awesome. It's for people with and without a die cutting machine. Um, you don't need a die cutting machine for it. You're going to love it. So just stay with me. I'm almost done with these Sweet Williams flowers. The molding of the petals is what takes the longest. And again, I'm using the white metallic shimmer paper that I told you I got from Hobby Lobby when it's 50% off. And this paper is amazing for using with the Viva Decor inks. I colored these petals with Viva Decor. It, can you see the different colors on here? This is just a white piece of paper and I used rose, green, and yellow, a golden yellow. And it just, the paper is just awesome. 
uh, the ink just works great on anything. It is like watching grass grow, Bluebell. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're almost done with this part. All right. And again, you're just l gluing and layering is all you're doing. And you're putting your petals in the spaces. I like to push down with the toothpick right in the center. You don't need any fancy tools to work with this stuff, you guys. You can use toothpicks. You can use regular scissors. Um, I'm all about using what you have. You know that. Oh, I'm sorry. You're having a problem? I'm recording as well, so um, you can watch the recording. I'll go over the bingo game again, more towards the middle and the end of the show. I don't want to make everybody tired of it. Um, I do have two giveaways for tonight, two ladies. Uh, it's Viva Decor Products. Okay. So now I've got the three flowers done, and because I'm working with pink now, I'm going to use my pink stamens. One, two, three. I'm going to put four in each flower. So I'm just going to get eight out. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with you streams sometimes, you guys, but... You know, again, it's free, and there's nothing you can do. I get the stamens from one of my suppliers, Shy. I have, here's, look how pretty. I have pink. I have green. Yellow. Blue. I have all different colors. If you need some, I can get you some. Okay, so now I am just poking a hole a little bit bigger through my um, flower. Yep, you can do that. Good job, Denise. Denise is using her Viva Decor Pearl Pen and White Floss or whatever color I want to color them with alcohol ink. Yep, um, I actually, on these that I made, on this rose that I made, that I inked with um, Viva Decor, the yellow stamens were really stark in there, so I just dabbed them with more Inca Gold in uh, yellow and rose so that it would blend more and look nicer with the flower. Okay, I don't understand your question. You're the only stream I seem to have trouble with. Well, I don't know why. Huh. Are you using, um, what internet browser are you using? I know the girls talk about that sometimes. I'm using Chrome. So I know, um, yeah, that's what Shai talks about that. At least I've heard her say sometimes it's um, the browser. You're on Chrome? Hmm. Well, I don't I don't know what to do from my end to help. Fi see, Firefox works for some people and for some it doesn't. I think it just all depends. Okay, so I'm um just made a the hole a little bigger there and I'm just going to insert these stamens. I fold the stamens in half. Hmm. Maybe it's chrome then. I'm sorry, I know that's aggravating too. Alright you guys, I gotta redo this because this is not working.
See, it's I, I don't understand what it is, you guys. Um, look at you're all saying some of you are on Chrome, most of you are on Chrome, some of you are having problems on Chrome, some of you are not. I think it's the area and the internet. I really do. I think it's I think it's a combination. Okay, now the stamens aren't going to cooperate with me. And they're going to go in the corner too. I'm uh yeah. You think it's you stream? You know, again, you guys, I got an email from uh, live stream today about switching over to them, and I wrote them and told them, I tried live stream, not with you guys. I went ahead and I did it on my own with somebody just to test it out. And I got to tell you, first of all, the chat was horrible. You can't chat. And I know you all like to chat on here, so I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to not have chat and I paid for the yeah see Sue can't get on it at all um, I paid for the no ads with live stream I like that I mean it wasn't very expensive yeah you guys have to talk we all do okay so then I just flip this over and I put a dab of hot glue all the way around the stamens and I'm just going to push it off to the side and let it dry. So there were pluses over at Livestream, really good pluses too, like I said about the um, no ads. I really liked that. But because I know you guys are always saying, oh, ad, oh, ad, you know, and it's hard because I don't like to have to stop what I'm doing all of the time, but I. I want to because I don't want you guys to miss what I'm doing. Um, so paying for the no ad was no big deal with them. It was like 40 bucks a month or something, I think. But if you can't chat, that was an issue. So I don't know. They did say that they were working on it. So we'll just have to check it out and, and see what happens. And maybe um, in the future they'll have it. It just stinks, you know, because Ustream is free, and I'd be willing to pay a little bit every month to have, you know, really good service. And I think if everybody did, Ustream wouldn't be a bad place. And you know how they always say you get what you pay for, and we're not paying anything for Ustream. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just kind of pulling up, pulling all of these petals off to the side so that these stamens cooperate a little bit more. I think I need to um, punch a hole in the center. In fact, excuse me one second, I'm going to grab my hole punch unless I kind of set myself up with a little station here. there I do have one uh, oh I don't think you're complaining at all I, I understand what you're saying and it's nice to know I mean I, I would think that you left for other reasons if you didn't tell me that so I'm glad that you told me no worries I don't think that you're complaining Oh. <laughs> no, I don't have a lot of patience either. I throw it across the room too. So um, I'm doing this with the uh, stamens this time instead of the, you know, my problem is I have a wad of hot glue in the middle of my flower here, and this is what the deal is. Instead of putting a brad in the middle, I wanted to show you that you can use stamens. And of course, when I did the project by myself earlier, the blue stamens and the Sweet Williams flowers cooperated and everything worked wonderfully. 
Now that I'm live, it wants to put me through the ringer and give me a hard time, but I'm not going to have it. Hi, everybody. Oh, Adam says hello. Hi, Adam. You're getting all these hello, Adams. Yep. Oh, my battery's going to die on my computer. That won't be good. I'm running on reserved power here, guys. Let me plug in here. Okay. Yep, I'm enjoying Adam and Ryan for the last couple of weeks that they're home before they go back to school, sadly. It's a short time it, that... I know it's a long summer and all that, but it still seems like a short time. The right. Why do you have a problem? On my left All right, I got these stamens through there now. And I burn. Is Danny coming over? Next, Danny's coming over, you guys. That's like what I miss the most with the kids, too, is um, their friends coming over and when they're at school. It's just so much more quiet. But then there's Ray. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got it. We'll pick the hot glue out of it as soon as it dries up there. Hold on, guys. I'm going to close the door here. TV's a little loud. Sorry. That's just the music part. He's watching The Office. Okay, Donna, we'll be here. All right, so what I'm going to do here now is try, you know what I need to remember to do and what's a good piece of advice for you guys when you're making this? Hi, Artie Dar. Um, when you punch out your Sweet Williams, make the hole a little bit bigger before you assemble the flower. There's a hint for you from me. That's what this is about, right? What do we have? Someone new here? Hi, Morgan. Welcome. Artie Dar Colleen is here, and she is sponsoring me with her company, Viva Decor. We talked about um, Colleen before, when I got back from CHA, and she is the one who's giving me the products to give away to you girls. There you go, Colleen. See, these are the types of girls I have at this show. They're amazing. And they love you, not even just because you're giving us product, but it's just the kind of people they are. Yes, Colleen, Sue talks to me about Viva Decor a lot. Sue is very nice to you. She loves Viva Decor. And Denise does as well. Everyone does, actually. So I don't need to single people out. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here, obviously. But they love your products. So keep bringing them. Keep making, keep making those orders so that we can keep getting the stuff. Because it's amazing. Welcome, Morgan. We are making um, a card with Cherry Lynn dyes. And uh, Viva Decor products. <laughs> Shy. I hope you're joking. Colleen, sometimes I have to remind these girls 
that this is a G-rated show. Because they get talking and who? <laughs> yes, they're funny girls. All right, here we go again with this. Now the dog is snoring, you guys. You can hear him drinking. Can you hear him snoring too? <laughs> Something happens at every show, Shy. I'm sure you got blamed for it, though, either way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to watch the chat and do this, and it's not um, working very well. Can someone please drop the link to my blog so that the ladies can run over and get... Um, their bingo words for our giveaway. Okay, you're talking about how I have all this patience and it is about to go across the room right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, Morgan, you're having a problem with your PayPal? I'm sorry to hear that. Sometimes PayPal is... <laughs> Blue Bell, the uh, Sweet Williams flowers are a little bit of work. Here we go. Done, Bluebell. Done. You said it, and it's done. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So there we go. And we're going to pretty the flowers back up by perking up those leaves and just, uh, or the stamens in just a few minutes after that dries. Now, you guys, here is the Cherry Lynn Butterfly, Small Butterfly Lace Dye. And here's the backer piece. So this is amazing. I love the intricate detail of this. And what I do is I put, I'm not getting stuck to the um, hat glue. So I just put the hot glue, run the hot glue right down the center of the backer piece. I fold my butterfly in half because I like the dimension and I drop it on there. And again, that's where your toothpick comes in handy to just position it where you need it to be positioned. And then you can mold it the way you want. And here you go. Yeah, the, these dies are very intricate. And it's just amazing the way the, the way the end result looks. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this butterfly right in the corner. And again, I'm just using hot glue to do that. Very easy. And then I'm going to take my Sweet Williams flowers. And because I crushed them like crazy, making that hole a little bit bigger in the center. All you need to do is flick these lead, these petals and mold them up a little bit to get the dimension. Okay? Each one so that they're not flat from where I pressed. Because all it is is layers. Okay, so there you go. There's another one. 
And the same thing here. Okay, so there's the third one. And then all I did was layer them into the bottom of my card here. Can you guys take turns letting them out, please? Mm -hmm. There's a moth. I can't find where it's chasing them around. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then I just put some hot glue on the base of my card there and just start layering. The dog's chasing a moth now. Otis. Okay. I love hot glue, you guys. You already know that, but it just does the job. Okay. I just hold it for a minute. And then what I do, these are um, flower leaf cuts from Cherry Lynn and those are these are also on my blog and I'm just going to add some to this sit down and make your sweet Williams flowers at once one time you guys and then it won't seem to take so long make the holes a little bit bigger in the um, Sweet Williams flowers as you do them so that the stamens go in easier or just go ahead and put the brads in the center. These are, I love these. After they take hold what I usually do is I bend the leaves up a little bit because I like the three dimension of, of things. Um, I don't like them to lay flat. i got two of them in there. And then I have these little pretty pearl sprays that I showed you many times before that I've worked with. And I like to just pop them in somewhere, just kind of lay them down and see where I like it best. And then I just kind of move it around a little bit to see if everything's adhered. Pop my leaves up a little bit in the flowers. And then like I said, you guys, after it dries is when I start picking off any glue webs that are on it because if you try to do it too much while it's wet, you'll lose some of the pieces off of your stuff. I think I've got most everything off of here, but I'm going to show it to you. And here's our card. So here's the card completed. Okay, so I'm sorry that um, Cherry Lynn Sweet Williams took me a little while to do. I think if I would have used less stamens, it would have been a little easier, but we finished. And here's the blue one that I did earlier. So same thing, blue and pink. Okay. So I'm going to put these off to the side now. You like the blue? Thank you. Okay, so while I clean up a little bit to get ready for the Viva Decor demonstration that I want to show you guys, I want to go over one more time the bingo that we're going to be playing. Here's a link to my blog. If you go over there and you view today's post, you'll see a list of 25 words. We're going to be playing a game of um, Cherry Lynn and Viva Decor Bingo. All of the words have to do with Cherry Lynn dyes and Viva Decor paint and ink. They are sponsoring my giveaway of um, the prize for the bingo game, and I'm going to get those right now to show you what you're, you're going to have a chance to win. So let me do that real quick. It's right here.
So if all 25 of your words are called in bingo, this is what you're going to win. You're going to win this book die kit from Cherry Lynn. That's fine, Denise. Thank you. And this Cherry Lynn die as well. Um, these are mini book metal die kits. This one is the Special Moments Hearts and Ribbon. And this one here is the Tiny Thoughts Hearts and Ribbon. And they're, they're book dies. They make books. So this is what those two are. And then we have from Viva Decor from Colleen, we have Cream Paper Soft. We have a Silver Chrome Pearl Pen a blue pearl pen, the um, four sizes of Inca Gold trial sizes which are, here's the colors, copper, look at that color you guys, here is platinum, graphite, and old gold one of my faves, old gold. Okay, so this has a retail val value of sixty dollars or more and this is what the prize is going to be for the bingo. Now you're going to get a word every day on my blog that I just posted the link for and you can mark your words off. You mail a list to me of your words and you keep a list of your own. Every day one word will be entered onto my blog. On Thursdays when I teach you will get five words. You need to be present to get the five words. I will be recording my shows, however, they will be typed into the chat so you will physically need to be here in order to win, um, get the five words. Once you get a bingo, you call bingo and I will ship you your prize. The words will start on my blog. Um, the very first set of words will be the five words at next Thursday's show. Okay? And then Friday, I will post one word. Saturday, one word. Sunday, one word. And we'll keep going until someone calls bingo. Alrighty. So I'm going to wet my rag here really quick. So I'll be back in one second. Go ahead and grab a drink or take a bathroom break. And we're going to make some roses with Viva Decor products. All right, you guys. I wanted to tell you, um, well, you already know, I have, as I just told you, I have a Vagabond, I have a Big Shot. I also have a Silhouette and I have a Cricut. Okay, so I have things that cut things out. I have machines, okay? Well, I still buy these, which I absolutely love. This is made by Fab Scraps, and this is a book of roses. Now, if you look closely, this is the Victoria collection. Remember when I made those bags and the tags and we used the, uh, the little girl? She's beautiful and she's on some tags. Well, this paper matches that paper collection. Okay? Now, I wanted to show you too. My giveaway tonight, I have four Inca Golds. There's two in this bag that I made. And there's two in this bag here that I made. So we're going to give these away at the end of the show. Yep, Bonnie, they're on my um, blog. So you can go over there. Hi, Danny. Shh. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. You're fine. Okay, so I want to show you how easy this is. This is how I made these flowers right here is with this paper pad and it is on my blog. Now I've made green and yellow here so I'm going to go for some pink and I'm going to show you 
this paper pad, look at this. I'm going to show you from the back. Can you see the cutouts of this? They're already cut. This is perfect for people who do not have a die cutting machine, a Cricut, um, a Vagabond, a Big Shot, a Cuddle Bug, a Big Kick, I don't care what it is. You can do these with your kids. Now, no, you've got to see how easy these are to put together, you guys. I made these super, super fast, started coloring them um, with the Viva Decor, and they turned out beautifully. So, this paper pad includes 40 pages with four different sizes. This is the biggest size. This is the, um, one of the smaller sizes, and I'm going to make two of the other sizes so that you can see them and you get a total of 160 roses inside this book. Now I calculated it out. It retails for $47.99. I'm selling it $10 off with free shipping for $36.99 on my blog and that makes it a quarter a rose. So um, you can get it here on my blog and like I said it's discounted and it's um, free shipping. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how this works. And again, I just want to hold up my card for people who are watching the recording so that they can see the link to my blog. It's because every picture has a story to tell. Blogspot.com. Okay. Now, the easiest way to do this, it's hard to see in the front, so if you punch these out just in the back, it's very easy, okay? So you've got three sizes here. You've got a large, I'm sorry, I thought there were four, but there's, there's three, and then there's a row of leaves. That's what it is. Okay. So... You just punch these pieces out. Now I do my inking to the petals before I assemble. I've seen people do it both ways, however. You can do whatever you want. I'm just, I show you how I do things and you're welcome to do things your way. Um, I am going to teach you a few tricks that I learned in regards to these, however. There are full instructions on the back that show you how to assemble these if you take a look. But I'm going to show you something a little bit differently because I found out a few tricks while making a couple of these this afternoon. The ones on the end here just kind of need a little help with the scissors so you don't rip them. You guys, kids could do this. If you um, aren't using hot glue and you use your Helmar like Tanya loves, um, you can do it. I just like to use the hot glue because it dries the quickest of any glue at all that I've used. So I'm just going to punch all of these out so that I can show you. And it's okay that one leaf is a little bit ripped because you rip a couple of the leaves, or I'm sorry, you cut a couple of the leaves off anyway when you assemble these. So when you were talking about flowers for dummies, this is it. No, I, if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm serious. You know, there's some things that we're better at than, than others and some things that we're better at than other things. So I say go for what you're, what you're good at and anybody can do this. Now, I've got, just so you know, for the next three shows, while we're playing bingo, now, Shy, I know Froggy's not here where she can write. She's going to fall off of her chair. But I want to show you that I am going to have four other packs of these during the next four weeks as we play bingo. I have a shabby chic flower pack. Okay. I have... Um, the burlesque flower pack. Okay, look at these colors, you guys. They're amazing. 
Okay. I have the medallions that make those. And in fact, I've made a couple of the medallions already. I love these. Look at these. The rosettes. Isn't that cute? Okay, then get a load of this. Shy. Pinwheels. Aren't those cute? And then you guys, at CHA, I saw Christmas crackers. These are all Christmas crackers in here. Isn't that cool? And then Christmas flowers. Now look at how cool would these be to outline with the Viva Decor glitter liners, Colleen? Look at those. They are wonderful. You're making Christmas stuff now? Yes, a lot of people are. So um, I'm going to be showing you those in the next four weeks, and each one will be on my blog if you'd like to purchase. But we're going to do a show with the Viva Decor glitter liners, and we're going to do those Christmas flowers. Now I'm going to show you one of my absolute favorite Inca Gold products um, is this color, and it is the color Rose. Now these are the trial sizes, and I have some of these for sale on my blog as well. Now, Colleen can correct me if I'm wrong. Look at this color, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Inca Gold is water-based, and it dries really quick. Um, it has a metallic finish when it goes on, so it looks amazing on anything you put it on. And I believe the main ingredient in this, Colleen, isn't it uh, beeswax? I'm just, yes, okay, good. Um, you can rub this on. I am going to go back to childhood days and show you, I'm going to finger paint with these tonight and show you how easy this is to use. Uh, it comes in 20 awesome colors. They're beautiful. Uh, they go far. It is kind of like a paste. You only need a, a very little bit goes a long way. I'm going to show you what I put on my finger. I painted this last night just with my finger. I rubbed it all over. Um, look at this blue. Isn't this amazing? And then I did a silver cap and I'm going to decorate it up with some flowers. A lot goes, a little bit goes a long way. It, this is non-toxic. Um, non uh, the metallic finish, the product that they use, doesn't have any chemicals in it. So that you're still able to achieve that metallic shine without the chemicals. Oh, hi, Minders. You are new. Welcome. I'm sorry, you guys. If I Sometimes I get caught up as I'm working and I forget to look at the chat and welcome people. So I hope my moderators are doing that for me. Yes, this is rose. Now let me show you something else. Look at, look at the copper. I'm going to be working with the um, pink flowers here. I'm going to use rose. Now hold on. I like to turn mine upside down. Look at this violet. Is that not gorgeous? Okay. I'm giving four of these away, you guys, so stick with me so that you see these. And you're also going to win four of these. Well, one person playing bingo is going to win these. Now, come sealed, okay? So you just pull the little seal off. Now, these also come in large jars. I have both of them available on my blog. But the trial sizes are nice for you to, to obviously, to try. Um, I'm going to start with the big one. We'll make all of these. This is... This is fun. I could just sit here and do this all night. Okay, so you just punch these centers out. Is what you do. Um, then there is a little cap on here that just pulls off. Okay, I throw mine out. I don't. I know some people probably keep them, but I don't feel the need to do that. Now what you do? Yep. And that frame that I made that's on my um, blog and on Facebook, I also made with the Inca Gold and the stamp paint. 
Um, I've never had an issue where they go dry. Colleen, do you have an answer for that? Have you? She's asking, uh, Morgan is asking, what do you do when they go dry? Can you just add water? They may go dry. Okay, so what do you do when they do go dry? You just add a couple drops of water maybe? Yeah, I wouldn't think it would go dry if beeswax is the main ingredient. You guys, I, I'm going to show you how creamy this is, but let me show you how to assemble the flour. Um, you know what, let's ink them. Let's do that first. Okay, like I said, I, I finger paint with mine. Okay, look it. See how creamy that is? I, I know it's hard to tell because you're on a, I'm on a camera here, but it's, it's very creamy. Okay, now you see the very little bit that I just put on my finger. Uh, and this is, I finger paint with these. It, it feels like hand cream, it's very soft. I just do this, okay? And I brush it across my flower. Now I'm hardly using any product here at all. And you can do this, I always have a wet rag here with me. And because it's water-based, okay, here's, here it is on my finger gone okay so you can keep going um, back and forth again this is all I have on my finger and I'm just pushing it onto the petals of the flower okay now imagine this on white paper I'm going to show you on white paper as well just so you can see better what I'm talking about I'm going to hold this up to the camera in a second but I just want you to, let's just put one of these together and then I'll show you, on, I think I have some white out here. Okay, look. Do you see what that's done to my flower petal here? Here's what it looks like to begin with. Okay, see the difference? Now I've just literally just splotched it on there, okay? Now I'm going to go into my, my violet, look at that. Okay? Again, a little dab. And I, I'm serious, you just want a little dab because if you use too much, um, it gets very dark and heavy. This works awesome on porous surfaces like anything wood that you have and like the um, paper mache box. This is paper, paper mache. So um, anything porous, it just goes right into and is amazing. And this is exactly what I did with these petals. This was white paper. I just inked them with gold and then I put rose on top of it. You can use a sponge. In fact, here, um, here's my thing about the sponges. I have some here. Oh, now someone's at the door. I'm sorry, you guys. Adam! Adam. Here's my problem with a sponge. Um, the ink goes on to the sponge, obviously, to use it. To me, it's a waste. What I have on my finger is gone and onto the paper. A lot absorbs into sponges. Hold on, you guys, one second. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So the thing with with using a sponge, thank you. The thing with using a sponge is, um, I, I'll do it just to show you. I like using the sponge; it does the job. But to me, a lot of the product is is on the sponge and remains on the sponge. All right. I'm going to ink this whole leaf for a second, or I'm sorry, I keep calling it a leaf, the whole petal, just to show you how vibrant this color could be. I'm sorry, you guys, one of my neighbors came over to the house and brought their dog with them. Oliver, that's enough. And my dogs get along with each other, not with other dogs real well. I'm going to have to do this with all of the 
the petals now, but I just want to show you how amazing it is. Okay, so the sponge is fine. The sponge works great. Again, I, I like to finger paint with them. Same thing. I can get the same result using my finger. And I feel like more of the, more of the product gets where I'm putting it instead of on the sponge, staying on the, on the sponge. Yeah, I'm, I just want to show you the color, Tony. That's why I'm doing that. These, I just dabbed and, and colored them. I have a sea sponge, too. I bought a sea sponge. Okay, look. Look at the amazing color. So there's a big difference. Now again, here's my mat. Look at the cleanup. It's amazing. Okay, easy, done. So that's what I love about um, about this product. Again, I'm using my finger. I, I'm just more. I feel like I have more control with it on my finger than I do on the sponge. Colleen uses sponges, you know, at CHA she used sponges. The girls were using uh, that on their product for their projects. Um, I can see using either. There's with the violet added to it. The purple, the violet, this is violet. It's amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do these other two really quick. Now the, the directions tell you exactly how to assemble these flowers, but like I said, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Just because I made a couple and through the process of making them, obviously you learn what you can and you can't do, or what works better. The Inca Gold, actually any of the Viva Decor products, and I don't just say this, you guys, because Colleen's here. You know that I only like to support the, pro the products that I like myself. Um, all of the products apply so smoothly, and a little bit goes a long way, and that's why I really like them. And, the, and what the end result is, obviously, is the most important. And the colors blend together, so it's okay to go from one color to another. And the biggest thing, um, I know Viva Decor, you could use this around your home, on your wood furniture if you're trying to restore anything, um, make it look brand new. I know I did frames with mine and it was amazing the way the paint and the ink took to the wooden frames was awesome. Okay, so again, I just literally threw it all on there, right? Okay, doesn't look like much of anything yet. Look at how pretty it is on my mat. And actually, what I was doing, I'm going to show you, I just did it on my mat because I wanted you to see how easy it was to clean up. I ink on this piece of paper, okay, because what I want to do is um, run this through the die cutter and make some die cuts. Does it rub off? There's my hand. This I did, you know, it probably takes a little a little while, but I'm rubbing my hand on there and it does not come off. So I don't believe it needs a, a fixative. I haven't used it on anything and I don't see it coming off when I'm handling it. Okay, now, because this one's a little bit ripped, um, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to take all three of these and you're going to fold them in half and then in half again. Okay, so you're doing this. Let me get closer. Um, most of the Viva Decor products take five minutes to dry. This, fold it in half and in half again. Now the pearl pens and the glitter liners um, take a little longer obviously but the Inca Gold and the stamp paint and any of the other um, products that I've used five minutes 
Okay, so you take all three of these petals and you fold them in half and in half to half again. Paper Soft has an extreme quick dry time to me. Um, and again, probably because I've really only used it on paper. Hi, sugar. Um, I don't think they would be. It would be photo safe, Tony. I, Colleen. I don't. I don't think ink is. Is it? Okay. So after you fold these in half and in half again, you open them up. Now, because this one came out perfect. I'm going to have that as the base of my flower. I don't think they're um, photo safe. I wouldn't put any ink on, on my photos though to tell you the truth. Okay now the first thing you're going to do is cut out one of these petals. Okay? We don't need that. Now which one did I say was perfect? I like that one. Okay, now we're going to cut out two. Okay, so now this is what you have. You have a full one. You have one with one cut out. And you have one with two cut out. I'm sorry, did I miss a, a question? Who's waiting for an answer? Oh, make Jack whatever you want. Okay, now, the instructions don't tell you this, but what I found is very helpful is I use my detail scissors and I snip down each little one just about that close. Now, you don't want to go all the way down to the bottom or you're going to cut the petal off. So just, there's no rhyme or reason to this, just snip. Small snip, okay? And the two that you cut cut out first, okay, up by the petals and just cut, just small snips. Now the reason I'm doing this is we're going to curl those petals down. Well when they're all at the same spot it's hard to pull them down. So I just took my scissors and I snipped a little bit. Now the directions don't tell you to do that and the directions don't tell you to curl them until the, they're assembled. Well I'm telling you when they're assembled it's harder to do. So what I do now is I just again with the toothpick I'm just taking my petals and I'm curling them down. Okay? Just roll them down under. Under and around the uh, toothpick. Okay, so there's one. Exact same thing with all of these. There's just three. It's just a toothpick. That's all I'm using. You don't need fancy tools, you guys. You can, anything round here is going to work. The end of a um, paintbrush is going to work fine for you. Anything. Okay, so there's this, here's this one. And then you're going to take, so all I'm doing is rolling under from around my toothpick. That's it. Okay. Now, you're just going to take this and bend it over and glue it like this. Did you see that? Okay. So here it is, you just put one petal over the other, and you've got a cone. I hope you guys are watching. Am I explaining it good enough? Okay, super easy. Over, and hold it real quick. Now here's the other reason why I'm folding my petals downward first. The first one I made like the directions told me to, and when you're going through the two layers of the one that you've glued to the other one, it rips when you try to fold it down. So that's a little trick that I'm telling you just from experience.
fold your petals first. Okay, so you've got three petals there. Now look, exact same thing. This is all you're doing. And it just, one petal goes right into the other one, super easy. Let me just try to, sh like this. That's all you do. Okay? Now that little snip that we made in each petal also helps with that. It was very tight and hard to do before I made that snip. Okay, so here we are. I'm telling you, these are so stinking easy. You're not going to believe it. Okay, now here we go. There's your three. Now all you're going to do is take your hot glue and go right around the base of this hole here. And you take the four petaled one and you're putting opposite, okay, so you see what I'm saying when I say opposite? You're putting the petal where the opening is. Let me just show you here. This petal goes where the opening is, petal where the opening is. So you're working towards your spaces. All right. So this is what we have so far, okay. Then you take the third one, same exact thing, just run your hot glue at the base, take the third one, and again, you're going to try to get it in those spaces, and pop it in there, and hold it a second until your glue adheres. Okay, look. So that's what it looks like from the back. Here you go. Now, here's the pieces that we cut. So all I do is I kind of roll it into a cone. But now wait a second. Yeah. I roll it into a cone like this. Okay? Now here's the thing. If you roll it like this, this way, when you pull your lead, when you pull your petals back, you're going to see your white. So you're going to roll it with your color in. Okay? So that when you pull your petals back, you're going to see the color. So roll it with your color in. But now again, I'm going to um, snip that a little bit so it cooperates better with me. I'm going to roll it under. Now again, you guys, this is taking me a little bit longer to explain, to do because I'm explaining it to you, but I'm telling you, I made a flower in like five minutes with this. It's, it was nothing. Okay, so I just make it into a cone. Oh, that's pretty awful, that hot glue there. Off of there. I need my sure bonder. All right, so I just put some hot glue there. And I just stuck my finger in it. All right, and you're just making a cone. Now, because it's much tighter than what the other petals were, those um, petals tend to curl back up. So all you're going to do is either use your toothpick or your finger and see what I'm doing. Look how easy this is, is pulling it back. Oops, sorry. Look how easy that is. Now that's your piece that goes right in here. Goes right in the center. Okay. So now you can manipulate this around a little bit. You know, this the center pieces are a little bit harder because that's what's, you know, the spot that is going to draw your eye the quickest. Colleen, these would be easy and fun for you for make and take. Quick. Okay. So then what I do, now I'm working on my craft mat, so it's fine to just go ahead and squirt that glob of glue. I squirt right in the center of that. I don't squirt on here because I don't want to see any hot glue. I just want it to adhere. I pick it up and I press it down. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Now, 
because I'm on my craft mat, when this dries, it's going to lift right off of there. These are super quick and so beautiful when you're done. Now, hold on. I'm not done yet. I've got one more piece I've got to put in there because we're not going to... Um... Okay, same thing now. Now, this is smaller. This is the petal, the one petal. So, same thing. You're going to go with your color in and just roll it. There's no, you know, it's not a big deal, you guys. Just make it a cone and you're just going to pull this back. I try to think a little bit about nature when I do this because you have to remember no petal is perfect when you look at a flower in nature and you just do it. It's not a big deal. So we're going to roll with the um, color in I'm just going to run a dab right here and I'm just going to roll it. Okay. And just hold it a sec. Oh, are you going to be in Nashville, Colleen? Go see my friend Shy. Same thing now. We're just going to curl these back. Now the little, the small petal is a little bit harder to work with, with especially with holding that glue. Ah, oh, Colleen. Thank you. What is? What's amazing? Oh, Susan, I'm going to like whatever you did. Don't be silly. I'm, I am by no means an awesome, fantastic creator. I do what I like to do, and I flowers are one of my favorite things. And I like easy, so this is easy for me. Okay, so I'm just pulling that back because I want to get that little bud there, okay? Colleen's working on some educational things with Viva Decor. She's got great plans. She's an amazing lady. And whatever she does is going to be awesome. Okay, look. What quote is that? Just put heart in your art and it will be lovely. Oh, I love that. Can I borrow that? Okay, so here's our flower finished. Now one like this where that bud, I, where I used that third piece there, that center piece, I wouldn't try to fight and put stamens in there, Bluebell, so don't worry, I'm not going to drive you crazy. But on these, I only put that one piece in and I filled it up with stamens. So there's our rose. Finished. Okay. I'm glad I made you laugh, Bluebell. Yeah, you can put a pearl in there. You don't have to put anything in there. I, I wanted to do one where I just made a little bud in the center because on both of these, oops, I use the stamens. The stamens aren't cooperating with me right now. Okay, now I'm going to show you the green. Now, you guys, here's the dried glue on my mat. So, okay, so just throw it out. Thanks, Artie Dar. Now, remember, I'm working with the pink, okay? This um, is green-yellow. Let me show you how beautiful this is. All right, this is green, yellow, beautiful, yes. And I love, love, love emerald green. Look at that green, you guys. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so what I do is, again, with the finger, 
I just run it over, okay, cover that up, now you saw I had an itty bitty bit on my finger and look at the coverage I got with that. Yep. I'm just showing them um, the trial sizes right now, Colleen, because this is what I have the most of. And it's more cost effective to buy the bigger ones as well. And once, she's right, once you use it, you guys, you are going to want to keep using it. All right, now I'm just taking the darker green and kind of like highlighting. Okay. And again, it's easy cleanup. Now you can use your sponge um, to help you blend a little bit if you want. Again, I'm just, I don't know, I didn't finger paint a lot as a kid, but I just get in there at them and go for it. I mean, it's so easy to clean up. It comes right off that, I mean, why wouldn't you want to? Yep. It is therapeutic. Oops, sorry. I sent a message there. I meant to just delete it. I had a K on there. Okay, so look. Here's your leaves. And then I just put them where I want them here. And I'll turn it around and show it to you. And as amazing as these products are, you guys from Viva Decor, I'm still learning how different ways to use them too, and I'm going to share them with you. But just for me being a novice, look at how um, easy that was to put together, and look at the colors. It's, it's just amazing. Um, I'm going to show you something else too that I'm going to try this on really quick, but first let me finish this one. And then we'll do a little giveaway. And again, I like to um, use my, you know, fancy up with my little pearl sprays and my tool and stuff like that. Okay, so that's done. <laughs> Pat, did you see what Sue just wrote? We have this discussion. Pat and I have this discussion all the time. We don't spend money on anything, <laughs> so we can justify our craft stuff. There you go. Okay, um, I want to show you guys something real fast. I want, and actually, I want to try something. Well. I don't have, I don't know that you're going to be able to see this. This is a, this is a bird cage that I have um, that I wanted to alter up a little bit. You guys know I'm into that. Now I'm going in a totally different direction. But I want to try this Inca Gold on this really quick. Now I know this is more for wood and canvas and paper and, oh my God. Okay guys, wait till you see this. Hold on, you guys. I'm using my finger only. All right, I'm going to be doing another project. Look at this. Can you guys see that? It's metal. And look at what it did on the metal. Okay, that's just with the two colors of the greens. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I'm just testing this, you guys, and I'm going to do it in front of you. 
I just put it on a second ago, right? Okay. Let me wipe all the paint, all of the ink off of this one finger. Okay, no ink. Let me dry it. No ink on this finger, right? I'm rubbing. Look. Doesn't come off. Okay? And all I did, let me try to do this sideways. Now, I know my camera's not the best for this because this is a huge bird, bird cage. Hold on. I'm going to just dip into the, um, the light stuff. Now, look at, I mean, this is a little jar, but there's a lot of product in there. Okay, so here I go. I'm, wait, I'm looking at the camera to make sure you can see, and I don't, I'm not even watching what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing it on. Okay. No, and it didn't come off either. Okay, so I put my finger now in this darker green. And again, you guys, there's no, it's not globbed on there. It's just put on there. And there's some raised areas on this, so that's why it's uh, having that awesome look, like it's highlighted. And then these are leaves, these are twigs or something. So again, now the glitter stuff would be amazing on this too, the 3D glitter paint. Now I'm just making this darker. So see, you guys, it, it's just all honestly about experimenting and figuring out it does look teal well no it's really green it, it's really green what about now okay yeah it's got to be used stream yeah it's green isn't that awesome you guys so imagine, you know, doing different colors now down here and the door and all these little raised areas. Um, just really cool. So these products, that's why she says, um, you know, to bring it into the home is amazing. Okay, th I, I will work on that bird cage. I'm going to try to get some more of those little bird cages that I had at another show where you can actually see me more working. Do you guys want me to make another flower? There you go. Um, yep. The birdcage I got at Michael's. Um, actually, Denise, the glitter liners are amazing for highlighting and outlining things. Yeah, I, I got the birdcage probably about three weeks ago. Okay, um, let me put these over. I'm going to show you how I did the yellow one. Okay, so same thing. Here's the yellow. Now, all you do is you punch those out, remember out of that pad and there's a hundred and how many did I say there were? 160 of those. Yeah, Michaels has all their stuff like that on clearance right now too. So um, I love you guys. One of my favorite, I'm going to use the rose again on these, but one of my favorite colors is the gold. So imagine like um, any old furniture that you have around the house that you want to bring back to life a little bit. These paints are amazing. And don't think that it's, it's going to take a ton of paint to cover it because, Colleen, I read that one jar of Inca Gold covers like 80 feet. Let me look this up a second. Hold on. I have my book here. I've investigated this. I'm right here, guys. I'm just getting my notebook out. Yes, one jar of Inca gold covers approximately 80 square feet. 
Okay, that might be the small one. The, uh, the big jar covers 80 square feet. Yes. So I think that's amazing. It, it looks like, you know, oh, I'm going to, you know, use a ton of this. These two go, colors go amazing together, and I'm going to show you that. Again, I'm sticking with using the fingers, so... I just like to highlight the leaves a little, the petals a little bit. And these, like I said, the kids can do this, you guys. It's easy cleanup. They're not going to make a mess. If it gets on anything, it comes off. I was working in my scrap room on my wood, um, my wood table desk, and I got some of the Inca gold on it, and I just took my, right away, I took my rag and I wiped at it. It went away. It was fine. So you don't have to freak out. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing to put this on a wall? Oh my god. And you guys, because of the um, each of the products, the Viva Decor products, I really, really support these products. I really enjoy working with them. I think they're an awesome value for the money. Um, Colleen's company is wonderful. There hasn't been a person there that I haven't met or spoken to, and I've spoken to, I think, all of them. They're all amazing. They're backed by wonderful customer service. Um, I told you about my experience with Viva Decor the first time I ordered from them and how wonderful they were. And Colleen is very supportive and helpful. She's all about customer service. She's amazing. So, um, I stand by her 100%. And because of um, each of the products takes a little bit to, to show different things that you can make and, and how to work with them, I just want to take a little bit of time at each show and just show you each, each thing. I don't want to go from one product to another product and use a bunch of products in one show. I want to show you a little bit at a time how each product works and then uh, we can move forward and incorporate a few products in one show. Now, what I've done is I've just highlighted the petals with the gold. And then this is all I have of the rose on my finger. And I'm just going to highlight it a little bit. And it just, when you work these colors together like this, they all blend so nicely together. And whoever said it just hit the nail right on the head when they said, um, looks like hand cream. That's exactly what this stuff feels like, is hand cream. It's just soft and really creamy. And I've had mine open. How long ago was CHA, Pat? CHA was a few weeks ago, right? Okay, yeah. And I've had uh, this rose open since that night. And it's still super creamy. So as far as, you know, the question about it drying up again, I just want to touch base on that. I don't really see that being the case because the main product in this is beeswax. I know beeswax, you know, dries up, but I think it's got to take a long time before that happens. That's with the rose highlighted in it a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to watch the chat a little bit, but I'm missing the discussion there. Like I said, I get all fired up in products that I really like, and you guys know that. And when I'm working, sometimes my mind just <laughs> goes in a different direction. Okay. So again, and in, uh, these products are are products that I suggest. I only teach with stuff that I believe in and uh, customer service. I get to know the people that I do business with. So 
I think customer service is just as important as the product itself. So Cherry Lynn and Viva Decor USA are amazing with both products and with customer service. So that's why I use their products. Look at this one. Oh good, customer service, yep. Yeah. That's important. That's what I was talking about too. So good, I was talking about the right thing. I don't know why now my dog's crying. Otis, what's the matter? Go find your Adam. Go find your boy. No crying. You're the big boy. <laughs> no, he's still thinking about that dog that was at the door a minute ago. Okay, so I put more rows on this flower than I did this one. <laughs> I always tell my, uh, my dogs when the kids are coming home from college, I always say, your Adam is coming home, your Rai Rai is coming home. Ryan is my youngest and uh, Adam and Ray, my two other boys, couldn't say Ryan so they call him Rai Rai. So he's forever been Rai Rai. <laughs> Kat, you should talk. You're the reason they get too many treats. Alright, so again, we leave one like it is. We Oh, I didn't fold, sorry. Let's fold in half. And in half again. Okay. Fold in half. Now actually, I think it might be better to fold it in half and then in half again this way because then you're getting, see that's the other thing, then you're getting each petal where it should be. <laughs> yep, they're part of your family, that's for sure. So you fold it in half. Fold it in half again. All right, now we're going to um, remove one petal completely, okay, and then we're going to remove two. One, two. This will be our last flower, guys, and then we're going to do our giveaway, and we'll talk about the bingo once more. All right, so again, all you're doing is taking one end and covering it like this to make a cone. Okay. So one goes right over the other one. Oh, who can tell me what I forgot to do? I didn't curl my petals back and I didn't snip. Okay, so snip, 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 just little snips in between. Little snips. And it's okay, you can still do it when it's put together. It is just a little harder, like I told you before. And curling the petals back, you know, does make a big difference. I mean, that's without it curled back. It, it's just not going to look right. So you do want to make sure you pull those back. I like this paper pad, you guys, and the other ones that they have like it because you don't have to worry about turning your Cricut on finding your sill file. If you just feel like making flowers and you don't have any cut out and you don't want to pull your punches out, you just pull a piece of this paper out and you can get busy. It's 
So I think Fab Scraps is uh, amazing for coming up with that. This is a G-rated show, Kristen and Shy again. Why do I have to say that at every show? Uh, see, Denise? <laughs> All right, almost done, ladies. Okay, so there we go. Put your hot glue around your outside and go ahead and put those in there. Same thing here. I don't mean to keep covering it up, you guys, but I'm trying to hold it. Oh my gosh. She's reading the smut again. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. So again, the Inca Gold, if you look at the difference, look at the difference just a little bit of ink makes on your paper. So you can go super, super heavy like I did with that purple and rose to get a really metallic-y look, or you can just go ahead and highlight a little bit and do this. Hi back to Ron. Pat's texting me. Her husband likes to watch my shows, and he's missing it. He'll watch the recording. <laughs> Okay, so look at the amazing color. The Inca decor makes a huge difference, you guys. And Colleen, we are all, we like to work on altered art too, you know, metal and wood and things like that. But the majority of us, and I hope I'm not speaking out of turn here, are paper crafters. So the fact that the Viva decor works as amazingly as it does on paper is a huge thing for someone like me. Because I too, Minders, I love metallic as well, and I love glitter, and I like my projects to be sparkly and shiny and pretty, and um, it, it's just the products that you use make a big difference in what you make. So um, let's put one of these in there now. We won't put the third one in. We'll go ahead and use some stamens this time, um, but again, we're going we're gonna to do the same thing. What heart? Oh. You're going to roll with the color in and just put a dab there. And just make a cone like this. Okay. Oh, there's the love. Look at all the hearts going around. Okay, and then just pull back. You can use your fingers. You can use the toothpick. Wow, look at all those hearts. <laughs> you guys are so fun. All right. So there we go. See, we have such a nice group of people here. All right, so look, girls, beautiful. See that? Okay, so again, easy, fun, fast. Uh, let's throw some stamens in there. Bluebell, are you ready for the stamens? The gold and the rose are amazing together. 
and all of the colors blend. So you can't go wrong with mixing these. You really can't. All right, let's see now. Oh, you're lucky your husband makes dinner. All right, let's try to do this now for Bluebell. Woo, look at how nice and easy those stamens went in there, girls. How do you like that, ladies? Okay. So again, these flower pads, um, quick, easy flowers for you. If you want to punch out your own, you can punch out your own. Color them up with the Viva Decor inks. You're going to love them. You can't go wrong with those. They're beautiful. So um, love to make these fun and easy. Let's do the petals really fast. We'll do the giveaway. Talk about bingo. Let you ladies get to sleep. Shy's got a date with her book. Oh my god. Love, love, love the flowers. The ink of gold makes the huge, huge difference. We're just going to go lightly this time now since this is more of a lighter. Um, shade of coloring than what the purple and the rose were. All right. Just a little bit of green yellow on there and then the emerald green. I like to put a little bit of the darker shade through there. And again, you guys, a little bit of this goes a long way. You, you've got to remember, start off with just a little bit because you can always put more on, but you cannot take any of it off once you've got it on there. Okay, so that looks kind of cool because it looks like the veins in a leaf. Oh, I forgot to trim these off of here, the stamens. Once you've got them glued in there, you can go ahead and cut those down in case you want to put them on something. Yes, Colleen, thank you. We're so happy that you came. It was so nice of you. Colleen's never been on your stream. Look, ladies. Woohoo! Beautiful. Okay, so in review, we used some Cherry Lynn dies tonight and made two awesome cards. We did this one tonight together. This was using the Fairy Lace Small Butterfly Die, the Sweet Williams Flower Die, and the Arabian Nights Rectangle Frame. The Arabian Nights Rectangle Frame can be found on my blog under today's post. The uh, Small Lace Fairy Butterfly can be found on my blog under the page to the right on my blog labeled Butterfly Dies Cherry Lynn. The Sweet Williams flowers can also be found on my blog, and they are under Cherry Lynn flower dyes. Here's the pink version that we made. This is the Leaf Flourish die that I stuck in between the flowers here. And then we have the same thing here, only I use the um, Stacker Leaf die, and I cut the leaves apart here. So the only difference here is the leaf. And then we created some flowers using the uh, Fab Scraps 
Victoria Rose's paper pad and we used beautiful beautiful Inca decor or Inca gold by Viva Decor to color these with. We have the purple we have this one and we have this one that we made tonight. And all of the Inca Golds and other Viva Decor products that I am carrying can also be found on my blog. And I just want to show you real quick, here is Cobalt Blue Viva Decor Inca Gold. Here is Silver. I showed you the Copper. And here's another green, Lava Green. The Inca Gold, remember, the main ingredient is beeswax, so it's very creamy and it stays like that for a very long time. It dries to a metallic finish and there's no chemicals used in it, and you still get that awesome finish. It's easy to apply. You can rub it on real easy like you saw me use with my fingers. It dries in less than five minutes, and cleanup, as you saw, is super, super easy comes right off. I'm not going to walk around with stained hands now for five days like I usually do when I color my flowers and things. So although the Inca Gold stays on your product, it comes off of your hands and your working area. So it is amazing. I have two giveaways that you can thank Colleen for. In this bag I have, oh, I sounded like a commercial. I have a gold and a rose that I'm going to give away of the trial size um, Inca Gold. You have to be signed in in order to um, play, so I'm going to give the guests a few seconds here to sign in. And then I, I'm going to do this as a class also. I just used a wet rag, Tony, to clean up. That was it. It's a rag with water on it. That's all it was. Um, we're going to make this a class. I've embossed onto a parchment envelope and just printed it up with some ink on a doily, added some flowers. I made this flower, um, added a little bit of fun stuff to it, uh, the Victoria Roses tags that matches our flowers that we made tonight. And then I have this this bag that I made. This is going to be the prizes for tonight. I have two of them. That's what they are, glassine bags. Thank you. Um, this is, you're going to get cobalt blue in this one and silver in this one. So you're going to get a chance to win these right now. And after we do the number game, we will talk about the Viva Decor and Cherry Lynn bingo game and get you guys started on that. And then we'll say goodnight until next time. So let me grab a piece of paper here. How we're going to play this game to see who wins is we're going to play our number game. And first we're going to play for the rose and the gold, Inca gold, trial sizes. And I'm going to pick my number. Now wait until I type go into the box. We're going to keep going until you guess the number. And we're going to pick between 1 and 28. Or I'm sorry, that's a silly number. One Between 1 and 25. Okay. So I've got my number. Hi, Shannon. Oh, you guys, I want to show you something. Hi, Beth. Look at what Shannon made me, you guys. And she sent this to me. Is this not beautiful? Bye, Colleen. Thank you for coming. Talk to you soon. I'm going to give away your products now. This is what Shannon made me, you guys. Isn't this awesome? It's on a tile. Beautiful. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, so when I type the word go, when you see it, you're going to keep picking a number between 1 and 25. 
and keep picking until I say stop. I don't see it yet. Oh my God, stop. I'm going to need help here. Stop. Okay, I think if I'm not mistaken, okay, I need help from my moderators, please. My number was 17. So can I have Shy? And my chat just went all the way up to the top. Can I have Shy and Kristen and Patrice, if you're here, help me? Who first came in with number 17? All right, let me see. I thought it was Morgan, but I, my, my gosh, there's a lot of people here. And was it Cheryl? See, I don't know if it was if it was Angelbug or Morgan. Can we just double check, please? Okay, so Cheryl, Angel Bug, this is coming to you. Congratulations. Can you please, um, you're welcome. Can you please put that, put your information in my um, chat here or my message? I'm not sure if I sent you something already or not, so I'm going to need that. Oh, and hold on one quick second before we do this other giveaway. I've got two other giveaways that I can't find addresses for. Okay, hold on one second. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, good. One is Artie Dar. I still have your prize. Artie Dar, I still have your prize from my CHA drawing that didn't go out because I do not have your address. So can you please PM that to me? And Cheryl, I have yours also, so I'm going to put this in there and I'm going to mail it to you tomorrow. So please get your addresses in the uh, chat there. Uh, Angelbug, I see you right there now, so thank you. You're going to get your prize from last time too. I didn't have your address. Okay, my moderators can also play. Artie Dar, um, thank you. I just got yours. Okay, now we're going to play for the blue and the silver Inca gold. Okay, same thing. I'm going to need help with the numbers, guys, because my chat is bouncing around crazy. So wait until you see it, and you're going to keep picking numbers from 1 to 25. Oh, my. Okay, stop. I see the number. I just can't see who did it first. Ah, uh, it did it again. It jumped all the way to the top. Okay, the number was three. Okay, moderators, could you please help me? I think it was Sue. Shy and Kristen, can you help me? It was you, Shy? Number three? Okay. Okay, congrats. That one, this one is coming to you then, Shy. All right, awesome. I have your address, so we're good to go with that. Okay, guys, let's just review real quick the bingo rules. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. But again, we're going to be playing for that awesome um, package of fun stuff from Cherry Lynn and Viva. And it's two book dies. Thank you, Cindy. Don't forget if you want to play bingo, get me your words. Okay, so please remember... You have to get me your words. The words are on my blog. So run over there. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Um, can someone, Shai, can you check again, please? 
because somebody just wrote to me that somebody else had the number three first. Is that the case? Did Mafia have number three first? Okay, you know what? We'll take care of it. Don't. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. Let's ju just want to double check and make sure. Thank you. Okay, so um, run over to my blog, get your bingo words, pick 25 words, email them to me. Starting next Wednesday, uh, I'm going to, or I'm sorry, starting next Thursday at my class, I will give you five words. You need to be present. My Facebook is my name. Here's my name. Please friend me on Facebook and become a flower, follower of my blog, which is right there. Um, email me your information, the 25 words that you pick. Starting next Thursday at my class, I will give you five bingo words. You do have to be present. Okay, here's my email. You do have to be present at the shows to get the five words. I do record, however, we are not going to be recording the words. They will be shown in the chat. Okay, Shai, go ahead and put it in there. It might be just because of me. You can send your words um, on Facebook. I can copy them and paste them into a Word document. That's fine. Just please make sure you pick 25 words. Every day there will be a word, a bingo word, on my blog. You'll get five words at my shows. The first one to call bingo wins. Um, okay, Shai or Kristen, can you help her please with my Facebook link? That's fine. It's fine for me. Oh, you can't give emails out on Ustream. Thank you, Shai. Thanks, Kristen. Yes, so um, you have to be at the shows to get the five words. Whoever calls bingo first will win. If I do not, <coughs> excuse me, if I do not have your word list by next Wednesday, you cannot play until the next time. I'll have another game. I don't know if it's going to be bingo or not yet, but it will be for the Cherry Lynn dies um, that I received for Halloween, all those Halloween dies that I got. So we'll be giving those away um, at the next game after this game is completed. And I'm sure Colleen will uh, send some more Viva Decor our way. You heard her. She's going to keep it coming. So that's awesome. So, um, yep, I have tons of Halloween dies. Well, I'm not going to say tons, but I already showed them to you. I have at least six Halloween dies from Cherry Lynn. Please remember, if you want me to order you the Build a Flower 2 die, you need to let me know if you want it right away when I get mine. I'm going to be getting mine by Wednesday or Thursday of next week. I have not gotten all of the envelopes for the swap yet. I received envelopes from Sue, Susan, Shy, and Shannon. That's it. Um, I have heard from other people, though, and they are sending them. Good night, Tanya. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Martha. So please make sure you understand the rules. For the bingo, if you have any questions, ask me. I have your address now, Artie Dar. Thank you so much. I'll get it before I sign off here. And your stuff will go in the mail tomorrow. <laughs> Play bingo, Martha. Thank you, Sue. I'm glad you were able to get on. Good night, Pat. I'll talk to you tomorrow.
Um, I'm, I'm so happy Colleen was able to come and see what we do. So um, that was fun. Thank you, R.D. Dar. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, PG. Thank you, Donna. I'm glad you were able to come. Haven't seen you for a while. Again, you guys, I hope you can keep coming the next few Thursdays so that everyone has a great chance to win those um, Cherry Lynn dyes and the Viva Decor product. It was hard for me to figure out how to give the next group away. I didn't want to force people to have to use Cherry Lynn products to win their awesome products because I know not everyone has them. Good night. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Morgan. It was nice meeting you. I'm glad you got to come. Every Thursday, 7 o'clock Central. And happy birthday early to you, Shy, for tomorrow. And thank you, Shy and Kristen and Patrice, for moderating for me. I appreciate it. Oh, we'll take care of you for that, Sharon. Don't worry about it. That's if, if you have a situation such as that, you just need to notify me and I will make sure you receive your bingo words from that night. I am going to keep it on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock because my husband is not home then and is playing cards. I may do extra shows on the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I'll always post on Facebook and those of you who I have an email um, information for, you'll receive an email from me as well when I do that. Extra shows will not have bingo words, five bingo words in them. I don't think that's fair. So I'm thinking of some other games to play for all these giveaways that I'm getting, you guys. So if there's anything fun that you can think of that you want to do, please email it to me. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> and good luck to you while you're doing what you need to do there. We're thinking and praying for you.